Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chris Cooper, known as the Channel Guy Trader, and I'm reporting to you live from Wall Street Trading Satellite Office down in sunny South Florida. Today's date is Monday, January the 28th, 2013, and here's today's midday market update brought to you by WallStreetTrading.com. I want to first start by taking a look to see how the indices are trading right now here. The Dow Jones is up uh, one, a little over, sorry, the Dow Jones is down a little over one and a half points, pretty much flat. The comp is up 11 and a quarter. The Russell 2000 is pretty much flat, up 14 cents. S&P down close to a point, down 0.71 here. Taking a look at a couple of the key sectors, the oil index is up three, uh, three and a quarter. USO is up seven cents. GLD is down 54 cents. GDX is down 35 cents. Copper, JJC is up nine cents. Silver, SLV is uh, down 42 cents. Back close to that 29 level here. It's at 29.79. Uh, 79 cents away from that key 29 level that we started lifting off away from about uh, two weeks ago. Let's see here. Um, VIX is up 64 cents. So volatility is up a little bit here in the market today. Doesn't mean there's not dip buys in the market here. If you take a look at the screen, uh, going into the morning here, we were getting our tra traders prepared, saying that we could expect some selling pressure. And if we get a pullback, we're going to be looking to buy this pullback in this little area right here. We talked about, and that this area that I have highlighted in the uh, yellow all right, comes from this little five-minute range action that we had on the ES back here, which you can see we broke out. We back test held, back test held, back test held. Actually held like a little higher bid here overnight. But if you go into today's session, all right, we were able to draw that. We were able to get this little key trend line right here from this little low, from this little low, from this little inflection low right here. You can see once it broke that trend line, sellers started coming in the market. That kind of caught me a little bit off guard, believe it or not, because I was killing some decent trades. I was long IBM. That trade made some money on that. And then right here, I tried to buy some CR, and that thing just did a fake breakout over 178, which we'll take a look at here shortly, then stopped everybody out. In any case, we had some decent levels to work off of. We talked about the 1494 being a possible area for a little minor scalp. All right, but then the real level to get long that we talked about would be around this 1492 half area, which comes from the bottom of the range, which I just showed you guys. And that's where the buyers came in. Dip buyers came right back in. And you can see we had this nice little move from 1492 half all the way up to 1498. Now we're at a key area where this is going to be a back test of the channel or of the trend line break that we have right here. So you start to see some sellers coming in here. We had this little tweezer top. You had this little wicks coming in right here. And uh, we could probably pull back, back to the previous day's close, which is around this 1495 half level. If we break below that, we're going to be watching this key 1494 half level uh, again here that we were trying to get back above to get more momentum to the top side. So, so far, everything's looking pretty good. We're maneuvering through the markets pretty well. We're calling out some decent trades in the room. If you have not been to our trading room yet, mywallstreettv.com. Contact me at ccooper at wallstreettrading.com so you can get the credentials. Or you can go to wallstreettrading.com, fill out the form on the right-hand side for the 14-day free trial, and you'll uh, get enrolled on the list and you get the email that gives you the information to log in all right so let's talk about some of these trades here CRM this one kind of messed me up earlier this morning because it had a nice little breakout over 178 and then just trapped those participants that got long that uh, got long over that key level there you can see let me zoom in right here real quick you see one minute chart you know it had this nice little tight range nice little downward channel break play set up shook some people out that little downward channel break broke right back above it this is a downward channel break play set up right here by the way guys see this Downward channel, you get your little three inflection points. So people probably got long right here. They shook them out, stopped them out, and they took it back higher. Then I got long over 178, called it out in the room, everything. Trade got long 178, went all the way to high 178.50, and then the market started selling off right there. And this thing just crapped on itself, then came right back up, and it's just been trading sloppy ever since. Um, so that was a little bull trap. Right? That's a, this is a perfect example, guys, of a nice little bull trap. Right, nice little bullish pattern set it up. Nice little shakeout, shaking out the short sellers. Then they get this nice little compression level over, the, over this 178. They get people along, and then they trap them and shake, and shake them out. And um, you know, if you could re if you could recognize that, then you can know that you could go short right right back below 178, put a stop somewhere in this area right here, and catch that move with basically a uh, minimal risk. All right, and uh, I had that strategy pretty much down packed, except this one kind of caught me off guard um, a little bit today, but. Again, we see these examples all the time. Same way we had the fake little breakout in Starbucks on Friday over that 57 level. Same same type of scenario right there. Um, what else here? Facebook caught a nice little trade on Facebook on the open. All right, got long this Facebook around this 32, uh, around this 32, 15 area. Was able to catch it all the way for right up to these 40s up here. That looks pretty good. Um, traders in the room caught this. My partner James in the room. He's been all over this stock today. Um, what else? Uh, see cat. Cat was in play. They had earnings. Did not trade this one. You can see this one's actually giving you some decent action. 
All right, wasn't able to get a break above the open. You could have shorted it right there, bought it right back up there. I'm not even focused on this stock. That's why I haven't even traded today. I haven't even brought it up today. But if you're trading this stock, you got some tradable action here. Looks like 97 is level to watch. So it looks like if it breaks through 97, this thing can maybe get some selling pressure. Because for the past hour and a half there during that time frame, they were just buying those little dips down there below 97. And it looks like if anybody was trying to get short below 97, they probably got squeezed out. And now it's going to go back to that 97 level. So now you have to watch that 97 level. Um, if it breaks below 97 and holds below that level, uh, you probably get short for a move back down towards those lows. So check that one out. Another stock we watch, that we were watching, I call this GMCR out in our chat room for a long trade. This one's going off to the races here. We got long GMCR right here at this uh, 44. I got long at 44.13 using the low of the day as a stop. All right, so we're risking we're risking about, um, I would say about 17, 18 cents there. Call it 20 cents. All right, and the trade all the way to a high of 45. 45 80 actually not even 20 excuse me got long hold on one second got long this GMCR I don't think we're risking 17 cents yeah got long 45 17 my stop was below 45 not the low of the day so yeah we are we were risking 17 cents so call it 20 cents at least trying to make a three to one trade uh, meaning 60 cents so 60 cents plus the 45 20 gives you a 45 80 nice little three to one trade there that we call it on the chat room why did we call that trade out because you take a look at the 50 minute chart here you can see that this was a strong stock on Friday. It was um, prior resistance right here, so it broke out. So this is a strong level. Prior resistance becomes support. Nice little hammer signal right there. That's a trade, easy trade. We caught that move. Some people in the chat room are still long. I actually got out. I actually got out like in the 50s, um, and it's going higher. But that's how I trade. Try to make sure I take some profit off the table, but it continues to go higher. And that's about it, guys. So I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Make sure you come check us out in the chat room. Go to WallStreetTrading.com to get the credentials or email me at ccooper at WallStreetTrading.com. If, you uh, if you're interested in trading with a prop firm, contact me. I can help you, I can help you out with that as well. Um, we partnered up with a, with a good prop firm, and I can give you more details on that. We have uh, the best rates, high, high – um, excuse me, I'm trying to talk fast here. Have the best rates, the best leverage, buying power. And we have high profit splits, all that good stuff, guys. Pretty similar to some of the other prop firms out there, except we do it better, in my opinion. But everybody would say that, but <laughs> we got a lot of good stuff going on over here, guys. So come check us out. Have a great day. I'll catch you guys after the close with the After the Bell Market Summary. Cheers.